Oh, hey! Welcome back to the big, big world! I'm Snook the Eco Sloth, and guess what? It's Earth Day! That's right! I'm here at Santa Barbara's Earth Day. Did you know Earth Day started here 47 years ago? Well, I've got something special for you today. My super big, big Earth Day special. So come on and join me with some great news stories about the environment and Earth Day. Hey, cute sloth. <laughs> <laughs> What a beautiful day. Oh, I thought I heard someone. Did you see someone come to visit me? Hmm. Well, I am totally looking forward to today. Yeah, I have so much I want to get done. First, let's take a look at that herb garden. Snook, dear Snook, oh my. Oh, hey, Burdette. How are you doing on this totally beautiful day? Not good, Snook. Not good at all, I have to say. But thank you for asking, by the way. Oh, what's up? I mean, the sun is out, the vines are swaying, and... It smells. Uh, smells? Can't you smell it? Hmm, I do smell... Well, <laughs> I smell a lot of stuff. <laughs> the perfume of the rainforest flowers. <sighs> ah, the moist dew of last night's rainforest downpour. <laughs> the soft, delicate aroma of... Something stinky? Don't you smell something rotten and icky and yuck? <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Uh, there is some kind of rotten smell. Uh... But I think that's sort of normal for a big rainforest. And it's Bob! It... Really? Bob? Yes! He's making something very stinky down there, and you have to find out what it is now! Oh, a mystery. Something stinky. And you say Bob is making it? That's right. And Quetzals have a very good sense of smell among our many talents. And this is just too much, too, too much. Really? Snook, you have to do something! Okay, okay. I've got you covered, Burdette. Don't worry, I'll find out. Oh, why, thank you, Snook. You're always such a dear sloth. <laughs> ta ta ta! See you, Burdette. Hmm. I wonder what Bob is up to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Bob, how's it going? Oh, hello, Snook. Can't talk now. <laughs> okay, um, uh, but Bob, uh, do you have any idea? Wow, <laughs> he's fast for a little anteater. Mm. Hey, Smooch and Winslow. That's so cool. You're having a picnic? <laughs> I was just thinking I'd like to have... Uh, we were having a picnic, Stuck. Yeah, but da daddy boar. Uh, really? How come? Too stinky. <sighs> Way too smelly. And it's coming from something Bob's doing. Hmm. I see everyone's noticing. <sighs> Don't think you can miss it. Oh, what is he doing? Do you know? Hmm. I do have an idea, but I I'd like to know for sure. Ugh. Well, we're going to the top of the tree and have our picnic in the canopy. Where the air is fresh. And the jungle breezes are blowing. See ya, Snook. <laughs> Well, I certainly have my work cut out for me. Hey, Bob, there you are. Oh, wait one second. Everybody wants to know what you're up to. Hello, Snook. I have to talk to you later. Uh, but, but, Bob, I, I was just wondering if you were busy, busy, busy. Uh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> we'll just have to go see what Bob is doing to solve this mystery. Ooh, I must be getting close. It's getting stinkier. What do you think he's doing? Let's see. He's been collecting a lot of leftover food and plant scraps, like banana peels, grass, leaves, and apple cores. And ah, now he's 
pouring them into a pile. Ah, well, now he's got a hoe, an interesting choice. And he's, yes, he's raking the garbage around. Hmm, gee, I, I wonder what exactly Bob is doing. It seems to me... Um, Snook? Ah, I'm just curious. What are you doing? Oh, uh, uh, hey, Bob. There you are. Uh, I found you. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> I, I was just telling everyone out there that what you're doing is very interesting <laughs> and pretty smelly, too. Oh, Bob? Yes? What? Well, what are you doing? I'm making a compost heap. Oh, a compost heap. That is so cool. Oh, <laughs> A compost heap is where we put old vegetables and leaves, and then, after a long time, it turns into good, healthy soil that can help things grow. That's right, Snook. And since we get so much from the beautiful world of trees and growing things, I wanted to give something back. Yeah, compost is a great way to grow beautiful gardens and good food to eat. <laughs> great idea, Bob. Uh, so, what's your recipe for compost? Oh, Snook, it's easy. Anyone can do it. If you've got scraps you don't want to keep, don't throw them out, just throw them into the compost heap. Yeah, the compost heap. Vegetable and fruit peels, eggshells too. If you don't need them, I sure do form a compost heap. I got a compost heap. Compost heap. Ah, uh, well, how does the compost heap work, Bob? Well, I'll tell you. Worms and germs will work and toil to turn your garbage into healthy soil in the compost heap. In the compost heap. The compost heap. Working while you sleep. All the dirt is yours to keep from the compost heap. bother me cuz i'm just doing something for the tree the compost heap piled nice and deep it's easy and it's cheap it's the compost heap it's the compost heap <laughs> way to go bob oh, thanks snook and now we can use the compost to help the tree. Uh, but Snook, hmm? do you think everyone will understand? They think I'm just being stinky. Oh, no problem, Bob. I'll let everybody know what you're up to and you'll see. I hope so. Hey, Bob! Oh, hello, guys. About your picnic, I... Um... Oh, no problemo, Bob. You're building a compost pile for everyone to use. Here's some scraps for us to add to the pile. I like getting rid of my old banana peels anyway, especially if I can use them to help the tree. <laughs> See you later, Bob. Thanks. Hi, Bob. Oh, hi, Burdette. Uh... I hope you're not mad at me because of the, uh, smell. Uh, I was going to, uh, Oh, make... not at all, Bob. It's a beautiful thing you're doing. In a very smelly way, of course. But here are some old twigs and leaves from my nest. Wow! Thanks, Burdette. Now, if only we could find a way to make a compost that doesn't stink. Da-da-da! Hey, Riona! Snook! Uh, thanks so much for telling everyone about my compost pile. <laughs> no problem, Bob. Hey, we want to help, too. <laughs> compost smell. <laughs> you can say that again, Riona. <laughs> compost smell. Whoa, <laughs> she did say that again. <laughs> compost smell. That's right. Compost smell. <laughs> okay, Riona. Compost smell. Compost smell. I guess we'll never compost hear the end of this smell. one. <laughs> <sighs> oh, hi. I was just taking a little snooze. Do you know 
who my hero is, Smokey the Bear. Yeah, because he prevents forest fires. And you know what I do? I help the earth. That's why they call me Snook the Eco Sloth. There's a lot going on here at Earth Day in Santa Barbara, green cars, lots of fermentation, and the kids' corner. I mean, look at all the cool stuff going on. Maybe you'll come visit me in Santa Barbara someday for Earth Day, and we can stroll around together. P is for parrot. <laughs> rock, rock. <laughs> rock, rock. <laughs> oh, hey, you guys. Riona's learning her alphabet. P for parrot. <laughs> Good. And Q is for... Quetzal and Burdette. Oh, that's right. Quetzal starts with a Q, and Burdette is a Quetzal bird. Okay, now here's a tough one. What starts with an R? Riona! Riona, that's me! Riona starts with R! That's right, Riona starts with an R. And you know that R is a very important letter. R is also for rainforest. That's where we live. Rainforest. Huh. Love rainforest. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I love the rainforest. But R is also important for the environment because R is the first letter in the words reduce, reuse, and recycle. Not quite, but, but close. It's reduce, reuse, and recycle. Uh, let's say it together. Reduce, reuse, uh -huh, and recycle. Hey, say it with us. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Um, snack? Hmm? What that mean? Oh, uh, well, uh, reduce means using less. Reuse means to use something again. And recycle means to make it into something else. <laughs> They're all important things to do for the planet. <laughs> big R words. <laughs> yeah, big R words is right. Three words that start with the letter R. Hmm. <laughs> and actually, uh, there's a fourth R. Really? Mm hmm Remember. Remember. <laughs> yeah, because if you don't remember to reduce, reuse, and recycle, you can't remember to take care of the world. Remember, remember, the fourth R is remember. So reduce, reuse, recycle, remember. Don't pour too much if you can't drink it up, remember. And if you want more, you can use the same cup, remember. And if your cup should spring a leak, recycle it and see what new things it can make. Remember, 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 from January through December, to reduce, reuse, recycle, remember. Remember the world in everything you do. Cause you're part of the world And the world's a part of you Remember, remember You can be the Earth's defender So reduce, reuse, recycle And remember Okay, well, um, hey, let's go see if we can see the three R's right here in the world tree. Oh, my darling, dear, sweet ants. Darn, no, no, all wrong. My friends, tree dwellers, my fellow Insects. Uh, no, that's not true. Uh, uh. 
Hey, Bob. Uh, what's happening? Hi, Snook. Riona. Hi, Bob. I am writing an invitation to the ants, but I just can't find the right way to start. Hey, what are you doing with all that crumpled up paper? Oh, well, we were swinging through on a vine and all these pieces of crumpled paper came falling down. Hmm, that's odd. I was just writing on paper and I did crumple up a few and then I threw them. Um, uh, let me see one of those. Oh my, those are my pieces of paper. Uh-huh. But I threw them away and oh my, I've been wasteful. Oh, don't feel bad, Bob. It's easy to make a change. You just have to reduce how much paper you're using to write one note. Reduce. Oh, you're right. But I am so worried if I don't write exactly the right words, I'm afraid they won't ever come. Hmm, that is a tricky problem, Bob. Let's think. Hmm. Hey, Bob, maybe thinking is the answer? Huh? How could thinking help me reduce how much paper I need? Uh, just... <gasps> I've got it. I've got it! Do tell, Bob. Well, Snook, it seems to me that I could reduce the amount of paper I use just by thinking of what I want to say before I start writing on the paper. Genius! <laughs> Bob, you are an environmental wonder. Reduce! <laughs> hey, Bob, would you mind if we take some of this crumpled up paper? I I'm sure we'll use it for something. No problem, guys. See ya! Hey guys! Hey, hey Snook! Riona! Ooh. Oh, monkey's sad! Yeah. Uh, guys, what's with the sad faces? Because! There's nothing! 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 To do! Mm. There's nothing worse than two monkeys with nothing to do. Hmm. <gasps> Wait, I have an idea. Ta-da! How about a little soccer? <gasps> wow, that is magic! Did you just make that? <laughs> wow, this ball is cool! Oh, but is it made out of paper? <laughs> yep, made out of some of Bob's banana paper. <laughs> we use monkeys and snook. <laughs> You've got it, Riona. We took Bob's banana paper, which was made to write on, and reused it by making it into a ball. We found a way to use it again. <laughs> hey, Riona, you try. Uh oh. Ew, muck. <laughs> So much for our reused soccer ball. What are you gonna do with it now? Snark, recycle. Oh, you're right. There's got to be a way to recycle this muddy, drippy banana leaf soccer ball. Well, while you guys figure it out, I'm going for a mud bath. Want to join me, Smooch? Ooh, yay! Mud. <laughs> 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 yep, that's why they call them monkeys. <laughs> Come on, Riona. I have a great idea where we can take this muddy, dripping, banana leaf paper soccer ball. Drop it right in, Snook. It's always great to add to the compost heap. A compost heap is a great place to put old leaves and fruit so they turn into dirt that can help make things grow. Yeah, smelly. Oh, it sure is, Riona. But that's the sweet smell of recycling. Third R, recycling. Oh yeah. Reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> Great job, Riona. Hey, 
Hey, what about the fourth R? Fourth R? Sure. The first R is reduce, the second is reuse, the third is recycle, and the fourth R is... Remember! Wow! Remembering is important, too. I never would have remembered to think of that. And we'll all remember it now. <laughs> We're off to find new friends. We're on the road again. Come with me on a road that never ends out in the big, big world. Hey, here I am on the road. Well, actually, I'm on a farm. <laughs> this is Scott. Hey, Scott. Now, Scott, you work here at the farm? I do. I work here at this farm. Well, uh, what, what, what do you grow here at the farm? Well, we grow lots of vegetables. We grow about uh, 70 different kinds of vegetables. Well, what, what is in this field right here? This is a field of carrots, thousands of carrots. Scott, do, do, do you think, would it be okay if we actually saw a carrot that came from the ground? You could see it, you could eat one if you wanted. Right yeah, let's, let's try pulling up a carrot. All right. All right. All right, here we go. Okay. I'm gonna go right this over so here. so exciting, I'm gonna see a carrot right. come out of the ground. Here we go, here's Look the fork. That. Well, I think I see a carrot. Is that, is that, <gasps> it's a whole bunch of carrots. Wow, it must be so much fun to work here at Quail Hill Farm, which is part of the Peconic Land Trust. Can I give you a hug, Scott? You certainly can. <laughs> Thanks. Wow. Paper bags? Yeah, it's a great way to make a scrapbook out of reused and recycled paper bags. <laughs> Pretty leaves? That's right. We'll just glue the leaves in here. Oh, hey! We're making a paper bag scrapbook of some cool leaves we collected yesterday. <laughs> leaves! These are some of the most awesome leaves we've found yet. Liana want all the leaves. Oh, all the leaves? Liana want. Okay, well, think about this, Riona. If you had all the leaves, what would be on the trees? Yeah, I think, and tell me if I'm wrong here, but you want enough leaves for your scrapbook. Enough? Yeah, enough is a lot. <laughs> it's exactly what you need and not more. We don't need to build a house in every tree We don't need all the honey from every bee All we need is just enough for you and me Then we're doing fine We don't need to build a road to every lake We don't need to have a third piece of cake Save it for somebody else for goodness sake You've got yours, and I've got mine Then enough is enough, we don't need so much stuff That's just right, it's just right, and it isn't too tough Too little's too little, too much is too much So say when, when enough is enough Yeah, enough is enough, we don't need so much stuff Cause just right is just right, and it isn't too tough Little's too little, too much is too much We got plenty, enough is enough Enough, good enough <laughs> You got it, Riona <laughs> Well, hello, hello you two Oh, hey Birdette, you look especially lovely today Well, thank you I am, actually My feathers seem especially flat today Flat feathers are beautiful feathers <laughs> Oh, but that beautiful. Yes, thank you. You're not so bad yourself, you cute little slothette. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, Burdette, uh, what are you... Looking for? My things. The things I had gathered. Where are they? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe if you can tell us more about them, we can help you find them. Well, they're clearly not here, so no need. I'll just keep looking. I wonder what she was looking for. 
Hmm. Incoming! Oh, hey, Winslow. You gotta help me. I just can't take it anymore, please. I'm desperate. Huh? She's gone. Whoa, to the uh, uh, Wins uh, whoa. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> well, you've gotten our interest. What's going on with you? And is it Smooch? <laughs> it's Smooch. She's crowding me out of house and home. Too much stuff. She's collecting everything in sight. Um, too much stuff in monkey hat. Interesting. Maybe I should come take a look. <laughs> um, Fiona, stay. Take care of leaves. Oh, pretty cool leaves. <laughs> okay, you can stay. I'll go with Winslow. Well, let's see what's going on with Smooch. Whew. Hey, now where did I put that other coconut shell? I know I had 53 of them, and I only count 52. Oh. Hey, what did I tell you? Oh, hey, Snook. Uh, you don't see a coconut shell lying around outside the coconut shell pile, do you? Oh, well, that's the one I was missing. Thanks, Winslow. But, Smooch, why do you need so much stuff? Oh, I love collecting, and you just can't have too much. And I just found this great big pile of stuff that someone left behind. Oh. Well, um, I don't know... Now, let's see. I'll put the books in a pile over there and these lovely snail shells. Uh, oh, hey, Winslow, do you mind if we move your bed, um, somewhere? <gasps> My bed? All right, Smooch, it's getting pretty crowded in here. Mm, you're right about that. Maybe, Winslow, you should find another monkey hut. All right, I have had it. I am not moving my bed. I, I, I think we've got some talking to do here about how enough is enough. Hey, guys, guys. Oh, where are my things? Oh. I had such a lovely collection of things, and now it's gone. What took me so long to collect all those things? How very strange. Things don't just get up and walk out of my nest. Do they? Hmm. Well, I'm just wondering, if you don't mind me asking, did you see anyone take my things? Well, my things must be here somewhere. Perhaps they fell out of my nest when I wasn't looking. Well, then they would be down there. Oh, oh my, what is that? Well, that's one of my hats. Aha, uh -huh. there's another one of my hats. Well, that makes two, but I had so many more than that. Oh, another one! But how did it get there? Well, this is quite a mystery. Well, there's only one way to find out. I'll follow this trail of hats and see where it leads. I still don't see why if nobody wants this perfectly good coconut shell, why I can't collect all of them. Well, it's because you're squeezing me out of house and home and monkey hut. <laughs> I'm sure we can work this out. Uh. Oh, hey, Burdette. Aha! Uh -huh. So you monkeys stole my stuff. What? Don't look at me. What do you mean, Burdette? These hats and umbrellas are things I've been collecting. Oh, sorry, Burdette. I didn't know. I just came across this pile of stuff when I was swinging by. Oh, maybe it was by your nest. Sorry. Well, thank you. It took me a long time to collect these things. See? Burdette is collecting a ton of stuff, too. Why does she need all those hats? Uh, yeah. You don't even wear a hat. Me? <laughs> of course not. I'd never. I don't need this stuff. What are you talking about? Whoa, I, I think we should hear Burdette out. What are you doing with all this stuff you've collected if it's not for you? Well, 
Every year around this time, I like to gather whatever I don't use and whatever anyone else will donate, and I give it to other creatures that might need them. Oh, what a great thing to do. When you have too much stuff, give it to others. Wow, Burdette, that's pretty, well, nice of you. <laughs> well, as a Ketzel bird, we believe that giving to others is very important, especially if you have what you need. And, as you know, I'm quite comfortable, you know, with my feathers and my beautiful, perfect nest and... <laughs> hey, Burdette. Do you think I could do that, too? I mean, give stuff to other creatures that need it? Well, I don't see why not. That would be lovely. You've got a lot of stuff, and some of it's quite nice. Oh, the hippos are going to love these hats. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Hey, can I help you guys? I, I know somebody who'll love this. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> well, oh, I think my work here is yeah. done. Mm. These, well, this has been one cool Earth Day, don't you think? But I've got a secret. Come a little bit closer. A little closer. Come on, do you know what? Every day, every day is Earth Day. That's right. That's why I'm Snook the Eco Sloth. And hey, I bet you're an eco kid, aren't you? And you've got eco parents, right? Yay! Oh my, I'm getting, getting tired. I gotta go find a sleeping branch. Come back and see me soon. Bye bye. <laughs> Boy. Whew. Maybe I'll wander around the Earth Day Festival first before my nap. And now it's time to go. But we will meet again. I'll be here or just around the bend out in the bend. Funding for It's a Big, Big World, provided by contributions to your PBS station, the New York State Governor's Office for Motion Picture and Television Development, and viewers like you. Thank you. PBS Kids.